good afternoon everyone i am jaya mishra working as a lecturer in imt college of polytechnic uh, so today's topic is introduction to lathe machine which i am going to discuss here so basically uh, here, uh, this, these are the contents which i am going to discuss in brief uh, in coming slides Uh, basically, what is uh, introduction to lathe machine? What is the parts of lathe machine? Types of lathe machine? What are the operations which we can perform in lathe machine? And the most important part is the uh, what is the specification of lathe machine? Application, or we can say that what are the uses of lathe machine, or what kind of operations uh, we can done you know, on lathe machine? And uh, some are advantages. and this advantages which i am going to discuss in coming slides uh, so uh, what is lathe machine lathe machine is known as one of the oldest machine tools in the production machine uh, as we know that this is the uh, very uh, ancient machine which is using from the our ancestors and uh, this is the basic machine and we can say that it is the mother of all the machines It is first used date back to thirteen degree thirteen uh, hundred BC in Egypt. Uh, it means that it is first introduced in Egypt in thirteen hundred BC. The first lathe was a simple lathe, which is now called a two lathe portion. When uh, it is introduced in uh, our production, then uh, it is uh, called as a two portion lathe machine. Uh, which means that one person is holding the workpiece which is in form of a wood and the second person is uh, uh, hold the uh, tools which is uh, uh, which is going to on workpiece and perform a different operation like uh, grooving like uh, uh, reaming drilling and uh, so on here are the definition of lathe machine basically lathe machine what is lathe machine A lathe machine is a machine tool which removes the undesired material from a rotating workpiece in a form of chips with the help of tool which is transferred across the work and can be seen deep into the work. Basically, lathe machine is used to remove the extra material from the workpiece to give a desired shape and size with the help of a tool. And that tool which uh, we use in a tool post is a single point cutting tool. and uh, this is the basic working principle of lathe machine a lathe a lathe is a machine which is one of the most versatile and widely used machine tool all over the world as we uh, earlier discussed that it is the mother of the all machine tools in production company so uh, this is the basic machine now i'm going to discuss what is a part of the lathe machine the most important part is bed Uh, which we can say that it is the root of the machine the bed of the lathe machine is the base on which all of the other part of the lathe are mounted the bed is made from cast iron or nickel cast iron alloy and is support on board box section columns the bed which is the root of the lathe machine and it is made up of cast iron and there are three basic most important parts which are mounted over the bed first one is head stock second one is the tail stock and third one is carriage which i am going to discuss in brief but first one is the head stock what is head stock it is present on the left end of the bed and the main function of the head stock is to transmit power to the different part of the lathe it means uh, head stock is present on the left side of the lathe machine and it is a stationary uh, part of the lathe machine it means that it is not in moving condition and uh, on the uh, head uh, head stock there are uh, lots of uh, parts are mounted like a clutch like gear box and saddle and chuck and so on and the main uh, work of the chuck is to hold the work piece and uh, after that the chuck is mounted on the saddle and saddle is mounted on the head stock uh, and uh, there are two types of chuck that is uh, uh, divided according to their jaws first one is three jaw chuck and uh, second one is a four jaw chuck four jaw chuck is also called as independent chuck and uh, uh, three jaw chuck is called as a longitudinal chuck but uh, the main difference in three jaw and four jaw is that 
four jaw step is required uh, like centering uh, before centering we cannot perform work or we cannot hold the work piece on four jaw step but three jaw step is a uh, universal step and uh, there is no need of centering in three jaw step now the second part is tail stop what is tail stop tail stop is a movable casting located opposite to the head stop on the way of the bed it means that on the left side head stop is present and on the opposite side on the same line tail stop is present but the difference between head stop and tail stop is that head stop is not in moving condition but tail stop is in moving condition the main work of the uh, tail uh, tail stop is to hold the tool but the main work of head stop is to hold the work piece and uh, which is supported on the chuck the basic function of the tail stop is to support other end of the work which being machine which i am already discussed that uh, it is hold the tool post like uh, if we are going to perform reaming operation or we are going to perform drilling operation then we need to tail stop or if we have to work on a large uh, larger work piece then we need to uh, then we need to support a tail stop now i am going to discuss in brief what is tail stop to hold a tool for performing operations like drilling taping reaming etc which i am already discussing it consists of dead centers the adjusting screws and the hand wheel uh, with the help of hand wheel uh, we move tail stop in two and four direction or we can move in uh, uh, horizontal direction the body of the tail stock is adjustable on the basis which can mounted on the guide ways on the bed and be moved to and fro there are uh, guide ways present in between head stock and tail stock and on the guide ways there are other parts are mounted like carriage and on the carriage there are five main parts are mounted like uh, like i'm going to discuss first one is saddle second one is cross slide third one is compound rest fourth one is tool post and fifth one is apron these are the five parts which are present on the carriage so what is carriage carriage it is located between head stock and tail stock the basic function of the carriage is to support guide and feed the tool again the job during operation now it consists five parts first one is saddle what is saddle it is an h shaped casting mounted on the top of the lathe rail and uh, second one is cross slide it is assembled on the top of the saddle third one is compound rest it is present on the top of the cross slide compound rest is necessary for turning angle what is the basic function of compound rest compound rest we can use when we need to set an angle or we uh, need to uh, perform paper turning operation then we have to choose a compound rest to set a desired angle what is tool post the most important part is tool post and the tool post is mounted on the compound rest it is used to hold the various cutting tool holders the basic work of tool post is to hold the cutting tool and due to which with the help of cutting tool we can able to give a various operation on the work piece like uh, rimming drilling uh, boring paper turning facing knurling and there are lots of operation and last one is apron it consists of the gears and clutches for transmitting motion from the feed rod to the carriage now uh, here is a diagram of lathe machine uh, which uh, now it is easy to understand the various parts of a lathe machine uh, as i earlier discussed that the head stock is present on the left side and tail stock is present on the right side and a head stock is a stationary uh, and tail stock is in moving condition here we can see that there is a longitudinal uh, long rod which is a uh, guide ways and on the guide ways uh, there is carriage which is mounted and uh, here we can see that uh, uh, a moving rotating uh, tool which is uh, which, which we call chuck and it is mounted on the head stock and on the carriage there is tool post compound rest are mounted and uh, on the carriage saddle cross feed uh, compound rest cross like all these are mounted on the carriage 
there is a hand wheel is also present on the self stop and with the help of hand wheel uh, the main function of self stop can be performed so coming to the next slide uh, as i earlier discussed the what is the work and function of chuck chuck is mainly used to move uh, to hold the workpiece so chuck what is chuck it is a basically used to hold the workpiece particularly of short length and large diameter or of irregular shape which cannot be conveniently mounted between centers it can be attached to the lathe by screwing on the lathe by spindle there are two types of chuck first one is independent or four jaw chuck and second one is three jaw or universal chuck there is a centering which is needed in four jaw chuck because the in four jaw chuck it is a uh, manual kind of uh, jaw chuck uh, where we we have to give a centering and due to which uh, the jaws are able to hold the work piece but in c jaw chuck there is no need of centering and the centering can be measured by the surface gauge okay now next next point is speed rod what is speed rod speed rod is a power transmission mechanism used for precise linear movement of the carriage along the longitudinal axis of the lathe coming to the next slide and in this slide i am going to discuss the type of lathe machine there are various types of lathe machine first one is engine lathe or center lathe and it is the most ancient type of lathe machine second one is speed lathe third one is the turret lathe after that capstan lathe after that hollow spindle lathe tool room lathe bench lathe gap bed lathe cnc lathe and vertical turret lathe these are the uh, types of lathe machine but the most important and most convenient lathe machine is center lathe machine and we can uh, easily see this on our labs or uh, uh, we can see in our workshop labs now what are the different types of operations which are performed on lathe machine the operations which can be performed on lathe are boring in lathe machine first one is boring second one is drilling third one is knurling uh, chamfering uh, turning facing taper turning and uh, rimming grooving uh, lots of uh, operations which are performed on lathe machine with the help of single point cutting tool now i'm going to discuss some of the operations here line by line in upcoming slides first one is boring in lathe machine boring is an internal turning operations used for enlarging the existing holes by some amount what uh, basically what is boring boring is a process through which we can, we are able to give a hole in a work piece or a desired diameter if we needed 5 mm or 5 cm of diameter we only do this on the work piece with the help of boring and there are two, uh, two types of boring first one is counter boring and second one is counter sinking what is counter boring it is an internal turning operations used for enlarging the end of the hole and what is counter sinking it is the operations of conical enlargement of the end of the hole first one is counter boring here come in the counter boring we enlarge the uh, holes in the uh, enlarging the end of the hole but in the counter sinking we can enlarge the holes in a conical shape of the end Uh, here is a diagram of boring tool we can see that uh, on the left side where the work piece is mounted is a chuck and the chuck is connected to the spindle and uh, uh, in the chuck work piece is uh, uh, holding and the uh, this is the boring tool we can easily see that there is a hole in between the work piece and this hole is produced with the help of the boring tool and this is uh, done in the same direction of the work piece and the most important thing is that the work piece is rotating in anti clockwise direction while the tool is uh, working in the opposite direction like if work piece is rotating in anti clockwise direction then the tool is uh, is on stationary po position but work along to the opposite direction second one is facing operation what is facing operation in lathe machine facing is a process in which the end of the work piece is being machined by the tool which is at a right angle to the axis of the rotation of the work piece 
basically what is phasing phasing is a um, operation on lathe machine like if we have to face or clean or give a desired shape of the diameter of the work piece then we perform the phasing operation and it is uh, work on the perpendicular direction uh, to the rotation of the workpiece like if the tool is on the perpendicular direction on the workpiece then the facing operation can be done and maybe it is required to a very minimum amount to clean the surface or maybe it is required to decrease the diameter so here we can say that uh, in facing operation diameter can be changes vary but uh, according to the desire and need Now, third one is the knurling operation in lathe machine. What is knurling? The process of making the surface of the workpiece rough by embossing or impressing a diamond-shaped regular pattern on the surface by making use of knurling tool is called a knurling operation. Knurling is basically a uh, providing a diamond shape of the marking on the workpiece is called as knurling operation. And uh, why we have to give a knurling operation or why we have to Use a knurling operation, uh, especially when we have to use a gripping in a rod or or any kind of workpiece or any kind of substance. Then we need to grip. Then we have to done a knurling process, knurling operation. And knurling is done at a lower speed and a plenty of oil is used. Knurling is done at a lower speed. Why? Because uh, if we do uh, in a higher speed or a very speedy motion. then maybe uh, the finishing is not come properly or maybe the surface finishing or surfacing or the outer presentation is not look good so it is required a very less or lower speed and uh, the most important point is it needs a plenty of oil second one is knurling provides effective gripping surface on work piece to prevent it from slipping when operated with hand Yes, I'm already discussing that why we have to need knurling. It just because of to uh, use gripping surface. Like uh, uh, we are uh, very friendly to see that in gymming when we use uh, when uh, we can see that uh, a rod which we use in gymming is uh, thread cutting are given on that particular rod, and that is uh, given only by the knurling operation. Fourth one is drilling operation in lathe machine. Drilling operation is a type of machining operation which is used to remove the material from the workpiece by making use of drill bit which is held stationary in the tail stock. Uh, as earlier I said that when uh, when we are going to perform a drilling operation then we need to operate on tail stock like uh, uh, on tool post where the generally uh, single point cutting tool is bolt and uh, with the help of single point cutting tool there are lots of operation which is performed on work piece but uh, when we perform drilling operation we have to use a tail stock uh, and uh, the main uh, process of dr drilling is to uh, on work piece is to making a holes or desired holes uh, on the work piece fifth one is taper turning operation in lathe machine what is taper turning operation taper turning is a process uh, in a machining process in which the cylindrical jobs are being machined to produce a conical surface taper turning is like a uh, when we can see that uh, here is a diagram uh, where we can see that a tail stock and a head stock and a cutting tool chuck and workpiece we can see that chuck is mounted on the spindle and the spindle is attached to the head stock here is a cutting tool also present and which is attached to a tail stock tail stock is only here for giving a support to the rod and taper turning is in work in process so basic basically we can see that when we need to perform taper turning we have to set a desired angle like uh, 45 degree or maybe 5 degree and uh, it is done with the help of compound rest with when i am discussing the part of the lathe machine uh, i already share that uh, the main part a uh, main work of the compound rest and what is the main work of the compound rest is to set an angle when we are going to perform a taper turning operation and the uh, basic formula of taper turning is um, uh, capital d minus small d upon 12 and what is capital d and what is small d and what is l is capital d is the outer dia of the workpiece 
and uh, small d is the uh, inner dia of the work piece and l is the total length of the work piece so when we have to find out the angle what is the angle of the taper turning uh, what we have to set an angle uh, with the help of compound rest is theta equals to capital d minus the small d upon 2l so with the help of this formula we are able to find the angle specific angle what what are the desired angle which we have to work on that point and after getting the theta we set the we set that angle on compound rest and after setting that compound rest we are able to perform a taper turning operation sixth one is Reaming operation in lathe machine, uh, as uh, same as uh, to the drilling operation, reaming is also same. Reaming is a machining process which is done after drilling to make internal hole of very accurate diameter. Like when we are able to perform a drilling operation or uh, in making a hole in the workpiece, if we, uh, suppose we have to uh, make a five centimeter uh, hole in workpiece, then firstly we will uh, do a drilling operation. and maybe there are some impurities or maybe some imperfection or maybe uh, we have to need some more machining process then we are able to choose the reaming operation and in reaming operation if there are some extra material which is not able to uh, remove then with the help of reaming operation we are able to remove that extra material from the uh, work piece and it can be done after the drilling process Uh, reaming uh, remove very small amount of material from the holes which are already drilled uh, same as i am uh, discussing like uh, with first uh, first operation is drilling operation and uh, maybe uh, in drilling operation there are some extra material which is not able to remove so with the help of reaming operation we remove that extra material but me but it is very uh, important to understand that the extra material is not very in large amount it may be very in small amount then we are able to perform reaming operation as we can see that in diagram uh, work piece is uh, mounted on the chuck and there is a reamer which is attached to the tail stock and uh, it is uh, operated in the same uh, opposite direction or in the line of the alignment where uh, tail stock is uh, have to rest on the work piece with uh, possessing the reaming tool and after that revolving in reaming in the opposite direction it uh, it is easy to understand that remove that extra material which is performed after drilling process now coming to the next slide and uh, i am discussing here what is the specification of the lathe and it is the very important point to understand that specification of the lathe or lathe machine in order to specify the lathe completely the following parameters should be included first one is uh, length between the two centers it is very important to understand that uh, what is the maximum length is needed in between the two centers and the two center is first one is head stock and the second one is tail stock it is the measure of the maximum length of the work piece that can be fixed between the lathe center and what is the lathe center lathe center is the distance between the tail stock and the head stock second one is height of the center what is the height of the center the distance between the lathe axis and the lathe bed is called the height of the center so it is very clear from the statement that the distance between the lathe axis the axis where uh, we have to find the length between the two center and the lathe bed is called the height of the center third one is swing diameter over the bed so what is the swing diameter over the bed it is the maximum diameter of the work piece that can be turned on the lathe without hitting the lathe bed so uh, it is very important to understand that the what is the maximum diameter of the work piece which can be hold on the head stock because if the center is touching the bed then it is not uh, easy to operate or uh, we can say that it is completely not uh, bearable to rotate the work piece because may uh, if it touches the bed it means that uh, uh, maybe uh, some time after some time or maybe uh, in the uh, starting point it is not able to uh, remove or it is not able to rotate on the same direction so what is, uh, next is the maximum bar diameter 
what is maximum bar diameter it is the maximum diameter of the work piece that can be passed through the hole in the head stock coming to the next slide and in this slide uh, what is the application of machine lathe machine or what is the uses of lathe machine the application of lathe machine is widespread here are some of the application of the lathe machine metal working operation metal spinning thermal spraying in automobile industry mainly in the crank shaft wood turning glass turning operation and many more and what is the basic things which we use is it is also used in various places like textile power generation defense medical plastic aeroscope automotive or uh, and automobile industry what are the advantages of the lathe machine lathe machine has numerous advantages some of them are first one is high quality product Lathe machine specially the CNC lathe machine finely product with high quality. Second one is high speed. The machine in lathe can be done a very high speed, specially in automotive and CNC lathe machine. Third one is save time. Lathe machine because of its extensive high speed and high accuracy saves a lot of time, resulting in the increased production. Fourth one is saves much save money. Lathe machine helps in reducing the cost of the machining because less operators are required of machining. So these are the four points. First one is high quality product. Second one is high speed. Third one is save time, and fourth one is save money. As we are uh, very easy to understand that uh, these are the basic advantages of the lathe machine. Like if we uh, work on lathe machine, we are easy to understand. Like it saves money. it saves time because uh, if uh, there is mankind or if we work uh, if we are not using lathe machine and if we use mankind then we can easily say that we have to choose lots of people or lots of man power and after using lots of man power we are not able to find a proper uh, work piece or proper outcome which we can easily find on the lathe machine so we can see that it uh, easily saves the time it easily saves the money because um, there is only one time installment cost is needed in lathe machine but if we not use lathe machine and we continuously work uh, work with the help of mankind then uh, every time we need a 100 to 200 or maybe 500 or maybe 50 uh, 50 uh, people is needed to perform a work and uh, every time we spend more money so it is only one time investment but it saves time it saves money and high speed high quality product is come uh, better output uh, uh, good efficiency eco friendly and uh, lots of advantages but i am basically men mention only five the uh, those are very important coming to the next slide what is the disadvantages of lathe machine uh, it is very obvious if there are some advantages in lathe machine then uh, maybe uh, then it is necessary to maybe more not more than 5 4 3 but one or two disadvantages is also present first one is the initial cost is very high as we know that uh, installment cost is very high second one is high speed operators are required for the initial setup of cnc machine when we use cnc lathe machine then it is very important to uh, have a higher very skilled operator because if the operator uh, which work on cnc machine is not uh, is not knowingly know the how to operate the cnc machine then how he can become able to uh, work or operate on lathe machine and give a better output Uh, with uh, in terms of uh, work rate third one is control system are complex yeah it is very obvious that when we work on cnc machine controlling system are complex because it is based on programming and uh, when the operator are skilled and easy to understand the programming then only he can uh, easy to control the cnc machine fourth one is cnc machine cannot be used for small scale production method Yeah, it is very obvious when we have to work on a large scale or we have to uh, give a large amount of output then only we can use a cnc machine or lathe machine and when we have to uh, use only one or two output then we cannot uh, work on cnc machine or uh, any kind of lathe machine these are the basic disadvantages uh, of lathe machine 
so uh, the summary of the lathe machine is that uh, first one is uh, it first comes in uh, just in 1300 bc and uh, it is a very uh, popular or very strong uh, uh, production machine so this is uh, uh, called as mother of the machine in production house second one is i am discussing the parts of the lathe machine third one is i am discussing the what are the operations uh, which we have done on lathe machine what is the specification of lathe machine there are some advantages and uh, some uses which can be used on lathe machine some are the advantages and disadvantages of lathe machine so this is the brief or you can say that the summary of the lathe machine Uh, that's all about the uh, introduction to basic lathe machine thank you so much